Hey everyone, this is Hunter from GoLive, and in this video, I'll be walking you through the typeset template for Squarespace. The typeset template is a high-end, polished, and professional Squarespace 7.1 design, and we designed this template for someone who wants their copywriting to stand out and who may not have a lot of images yet for their business, and it's best suited for service-based businesses. This design is totally customizable from the fonts to the colors to the images, and we show you how to customize the graphics to make your template unique to your brand and business. We'll also teach you how you can quickly and easily customize the entire design to make it unique to your brand, including the color palette, how to gather your images, writing some of the words for your website, and how to launch quickly. This website template requires no Photoshop, and you do not have to know complicated code to use this this design, although we will teach you one piece of CSS to use a custom font choice, which is this very cool font choice here. As we look at the homepage of Typeset up at the top, we have a simple and sleek navigation, the logo, social links, and a call to action button. This header navigation section is customizable. You can add or remove elements like a cart, for example. You could move the logo over to the left, or you can move the navigation down underneath the logo and make it work for the best situation for your brand and business. Then below this area, below the navigation, we have a header where you can make a bold statement about your business. Um, here you can explain what your business does or just welcome visitors to your website. And as we scroll down the web page, you can see the animations in the background that really give the site movement. You can choose to turn on or off these features if you'd rather your site be more simplified for your ideal client. So here, as we go down, we have a brand bio section, which gives them a very specified statement about your business, or this is also a great spot for a quote or another statement about what it is that you do and who you serve. We have an about us section, a section where you could detail some of the services you offer a testimonial slider that you could add in testimonials from previous clients, a blog feature here you could share helpful information, a portfolio that you can click into, and then a final call to action before we hit the footer with an Instagram feed, the footer navigation, some site credits, and some social links. So if we scroll back up to the top and go to the about page, here you can see that we continue the graphics and the animations throughout the site for cohesive looks. And then here in the about section, we've got a top section where you can explain a little bit about who you are. If you have a team, you could share who your team is. And then as we scroll down, we have more testimonials, a spot to share your ethos or maybe your mission or your values, and then a call to action to view the portfolio and a final call to action to contact you or let's talk. If we scroll back up, we can head to the services page here. In the services page, we have a similar style layout up at the top. We have a header that explains your services and a call to action. And here you could explain some of the services you offer, including some of the details about that service. So we have three and you could always duplicate these and make more if you have more services. We've got another spot for testimonials here, a final call to action to contact you, and again, the footer. We'll scroll back up and head to the portfolio to give that a look. And here we have a really cool way to display your portfolio projects or clients you've worked with. And as you hover over the four projects, you can see that the image in the background takes shape. If we click into project one, you can see an example of what a portfolio page would look like. You can add text, you can add images, you could add video, you can add a lot of details here about your portfolio. And what's great is then at the bottom, it automatically leads them into project two so they can check that out. And we've created some alternate layouts that you can use in your portfolio to get you started while you're building out the visual representation of your brand. If we scroll up, we can click into the blog to give that a look. Here we have another, again, header that explains what the blog is. You could give a fun statement, giving them expectations of what they'll find in your blog. We've got a category drop down in a search bar here so they can search your blog. And then here we have an alternating blog layout where you can feature um, recent posts. And if we click into an individual blog, you can also give a look as to what that would look like. You can also add images, videos, newsletter signups or email signups and way more to your blogs as well to make them look more robust. The last page that we're going to look at is the contact us page. So if we click there, you can see again, the similar style header with contact us, a spot for some copywriting. And then as we scroll down, we have the contact form um, where people can reach out to contact you and this can send straight to your email. 
um, for people to contact you about your services. We then again have a slider here with testimonials and then we have a last um, option to follow a social media promotion or follow us. And I love this because it connects them to you after they fill out the contact form. It kind of gives them a what's next for your business. So this has been a walkthrough of the typeset template for Squarespace 7.1. Again, it's a high-end, polished, and professional Squarespace design that we've designed specifically for businesses that don't have a lot of images and really want that typography or their copywriting to stand out first. If you have any questions about this template, feel free to reach out to us at hello at golivehq.com.